rain or shine went out of the PBA Governor's Cup with a big bang. Chris Hughes saw to it. In what could be his final game for the franchise, Hughes scored a career high 30 points in leading the short handed Elasto Painters to a 107 101 upset victory over NLEX Saturday at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Hughes scattered 17 of his points in the second half, helping rain or shine to complete its charge from 18 points down and into as much as a 101-81 lead. The likes of Jul Ponferrada, Norbert Torres and Dexter Makas did their part as the E-Painters went on to quash whatever uprising the Road Warriors could muster before formally bowing out of the competition with a 3-8 win-loss record, well short of what was needed to make it past the eliminations. Still, the way his charges were able to withstand playing, not only minus the injured Bo Belgo and suspended Raymond Almazan, but also without the ailing Maverick Ahun Missy and an import, pleased coach Caloy Garcia no end. At least we ended up on a winning note, said Garcia, whose team opened up the tournament with four straight losses and could not get fully untracked, resulting in its 10th place finish, which is the worst under Garcia. For Garcia, the 33-year-old Pew just showed he is good for at least one more year. Our bigs played well, but again with the way Chris played his heart out. With 30 points he shouldn't retire, stated the coach. Pew's final and official decision leaves a cloud of uncertainty hanging on the future of the Asian Codings franchise. It has been widely reported that Pew would be retiring at the end of the season, when his contract expires, to attend to his other business ventures. Pew would not completely bear what his immediate plans are, saying he still has to fully talk to management. Despite the loss, its sixth against five wins, NLEX still advances to quarterfinals. NLEX could end up tied for 7th to 9th spot with Miralco and Talk and Text at the end of the elimination round Sunday, but the Road Warriors would secure its place in the next round because of a better quotient. Aaron Fuller wound up with 29 points, 12 rebounds and 7 assists, but only Bong Galanza, Mike Miranda and Philip Panyamagan were able to lend ample support with at least 11 points each. Ponferrada finished with 13 points and 8 boards, Torres and Makas both came off the bench for 12 points and fellow reliever Raynamba Tag 10. Torres scattered 8 of his points in the third quarter, including a triple that sparked a 14-5 exchange that put Rain or Shine ahead 82-74, going to the final canto. While NLEX lapsed into a series of misses and miscues, Makers and Pew were primarily responsible in a 19-7 salvo that gave Rain or Shine its 21-point lead. The Road Warriors' last gasp came when Panyamagan, Larry Foncier, Miranda and Fuller conspired for a 16-2 run that brought them within 97-103, 125 left.